Hey everybody, B Monster Laboratory here. Today we're going to create our own persistence of vision or POV wand by using Arduino to program an LED array and synchronizing that array with motion. An LED array is simply a uniform grouping of LEDs that are connected together. Now you can buy packaged LED arrays or what they call chip on board LED arrays. But today we're going to create our own LED array. It's going to be a straight line along our wand here. And it's going to be equal distance apart. And we're going to use our hand as the motor action, the movement. And we can create our own array by using the digital write function in Arduino IDE. Let's begin. For this project, we're going to use Arduino Uno and a 9-volt battery along with an adapter for the battery that we can connect directly to our Arduino Uno board. We'll also use some screws and nuts to keep the Uno board in place as well as these standoffs so that we can sandwich all this between two pieces of wood. We'll also need some LEDs. I'm going to use 5mm diffused LEDs. They're very cheap and convenient for this project. Since we're using eight LEDs, we'll use eight 220 ohm resistors, which we will connect to the negative pin of the LEDs. And this will be built on this extra piece of craft wood that I have here. And we'll also use uh, this wooden dowel rod, or whatever you call it. You know, it doesn't have to be wooden, but I'm going to use this long wooden rod here to put the lights on. Be sure to mark the places on the wood where you need to drill your holes, and then cut your wood into squares big enough to fit your battery and your UNO board. By the way, I've had these Stanley Fatmax clippers or whatever you call them for about six or seven years now and they absolutely cut through everything. Here is the code that was used. Up here we identify the LED pins, where the LEDs are located, and they're located on pins 2 through pins 9. And then down here we say that there are 8 LEDs, or using 8 pins. Uh, down here this is the data for each of the letters and also uh, characters that we've included, where the number one sets the pin high and the number zero sets the pin low or off. And down here we have the time between column and the time between frames, which you can manipulate to use according to uh, the speed of uh, motion, your motor, or in this case your hand. And uh, you can play around with that. I have, this actually works better for me at five, but uh, 
that's what that is. You come down here, we set the uh, LEDs to uh, the output, and we come down here to the bottom, and we can tell it to display H-E-L-L-O, and then down here at the bottom, it goes through all the data for all the columns in each frame. And that's what that is. The code is pretty short. There are many ways to do this. Uh, I did it without using um, libraries, so this is what I did. Well, here is the final product, and there are pros and cons to the way I did this project. On the upside, it is cheap. I probably have 5 to $8 wrapped up in LEDs, resistors, and wire. That's it. You can spend a lot of money making a really nice one, but this one was fairly cheap, and I can take it anywhere. I can take it outside, upstairs, downstairs. Um, it's very mobile, and it's easy to store as well. I can put it in a closet corner. Um, it's got a convenient containment of the board and the battery, which I really like. And it's easy to troubleshoot. I can take it to a computer, plug it in, change a code, it's a piece of cake. On the downside, you need consistent speed and angle of the lights, right? So if I could do anything different for the way I did it here, I would fix the, the LEDs so that they're visible from the front and the back. As of now, they're just visible from the front. So uh, I do like it. I'm having a lot of fun with this, so I will explore other ways to do persistence of vision projects, and I hope you check them out. Well, that's all I've got for today. I hope this video was helpful, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Remember, like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again very soon.